Welcome to Research Rocks. In this video, we will see how to apply SERB National Postdoc Fellowship in India. You can do same process and you can also very easily get National Postdoc Fellowship. I already applied for this particular position and I got this fellowship. What exactly I am doing and then after I am receiving this postdoc fellowship, I will provide you all detailed demonstration as a step by step. So let's start as a demonstration. Before start the demonstration, please subscribe our YouTube channel Research Rock. So simply open here Google and just type National Postdoc Fellowship. So this link is uh, comes here. I'm putting this link in video description as well. So this year National Postdoc Fellowship deadline is a uh, 2nd June 2021. Hope so they are extended this particular deadline. Some eligibility criteria is available here. You can read those eligible criteria like uh, should applicant should be in uh, Indian citizen, uh, obtain PhD degree and then age limit is a 35 national postdoc fellowship candidate only once time his career life mentor must be hold in regular academic research position recognized institute in India like this particular faculty is permanent post in university institute and he should be completed his PhD science and engineering degree mentor should not uh, more than two postdoc fellowship given same time so you can consider such kind of mentor and then quest the application so him basic informations are available like here they are providing you first of all two year contract but you can extend this contract one more year the fellowship you receive 55,000 research grant 2 lakh per annum and overhead charges 1 lakh per annum you can use those grant overhead means university are receiving this overhead per year but rest of money you are receiving only applicant some basic informations are available here so here you can visit on that particular complete guideline principal investigator and here all detail uh, are available how you apply register and where exactly you uploading this particular content data and should be how much character those particular data so i will show you of my personal i receiving this national postdoc fellowship so look at this this is my approval letter i am receiving national postdoc fellowship in 2019 so i apply this postdoc fellowship and i study in six months and then after i make a good proposal and then submit so they are providing me this results after eight months first of all i will show you which types of process i am going on i done my phd in maharashtra university and i selected as a, my mentor is uh, DICT Gandhi Nagar so I write one application by professionally applicant me subject kindly request to give me your research lab permission I can come there and then make one research proposal so I write a small application and submit the particular supervisor or mentor and here this is my application what exactly I am applying and which types of documents i am providing i will give you detailed demonstration like here after submit this application i am receiving all data in single pdf so my project title is design of generative adversarial network based text to speech synthesis system for indian uh, low research languages and then second one proposal detail this proposal title name scheme national postdoc fellowship area because of i am in a computer science student so that's why i'm selecting the engineering science my name email address and rest of informations are available like department address and my personal address local address maharashtra and father name pin code detail information and next page uh, detail of uh, postdoctoral fellowship related information consideration you fill this form currently now so qualified phd awarded yes you receive the phd awarded yes otherwise you can write here no and submit submitted date of awarded like my date of awarded of phd here i am mentioning my phd title subject computer science my phd supervisor name my phd university name and brief detail of this particular thesis work so i am adding here 5000 words in my phd related works i am putting here in abstract point of view you can put it here as a small brief abstract of your phd work and then after proposal research detail current research detail what exactly you are doing in a, your postdoc so i am writing here proposal related detail so specific character only 1500 words so i am mentioning there specific keywords 
and which types of objective I am targeting. So I am putting here as a specific objective. You are putting here most important word only because of they are recognize which types of objective you are providing at the key point. Don't explain much. You can explain as a shorter than that one is the best for you and then expected outcome which types of expected outcome they are providing you specific form and specific word only so accordingly you create expected outcome and specific character and key the point focus on whole research article only in the key point here mentor related detail in this particular proposal you are a principal investigator and some supervisor are only mentor so i am putting here his name of my mentor this institute name proposed mentor name designation department and email address contact number email address of register on this particular institute register email address they are sending at a time three person email for the your acceptance like your mentor register institute or university number of scholar working phd number of postdoc you can add here a detail and then a reference detail you can add two reference three reference four reference whatever you want so i am adding here my first phd reference and then adding my here postdoctoral reference and then here work plan so i am adding here three pages they are providing me three pages uh, requirement only so i am uh, very much to the point i am writing this three pages creating this in a overlip latex format and this <laughs> page size I am focusing on how much characters, how much information I am putting within a three pages. So accordingly, I, I make this documents like first half, I focus on literature survey of text to speech synthesized system like 1970 to 2018, how much uh, works happening uh, ongoing, what is the strength, what is the weakness of each year, each uh, techniques as a step by step, I'm explaining this flow chart and then rest of information, I'm putting this one and then uh, uh, proposed framework for generative based advisorial network so what exactly i am doing currently my postdoc so accordingly i am putting those information here like uh, what exactly i am working on the postdoc position using uh, generative advisorial network front end i am putting here only key point not explain much mapping gan my proposal so this is my architecture of up so i consider this architecture for whole research what exactly i am using generative adversarial network and predict the output as a synthesized voice indian voice so here research issue in gan how many research issue available currently so i am putting those research issue here what exactly project outcome so data collection high quality speed so i am putting here only key the point outcome of this research and plan of the research so first three months i am working as a literature survey next three months i am understanding of TTS framework, Indian languages, and then I try to implement DNN and GAN based framework for English language and then prepare the database. I'm putting here two year plan and like for example, July 2018 to June 2020, I'm adding research plan here as a step by step. You can doing same process and make your proposal very simplest. And I'm adding here very much uh, important some references so you can reduce the references font size here so you can add more references consider as like a five to eight references in this particular report not more than that because of data is important so accordingly you decide and then here next next comes in this particular application form say bio data so here is application just like a bio data so which that they are providing here templates so accordingly i make this template and add my data here like my name my email address where exactly i am working all detail i am provide uh, put it here they providing me this template so accordingly i added my uh, data on this template you can do same process any other information one points are available on by data under so you can put it your key points here any other information they consider you like your research experience you are working project some during phd or some experience in teaching so i am adding there so here next options come and then simultaneously i am adding my so mentor uh, resume also there first i added my resume and then i am adding my mentor resume 
सो की पॉइंट ऑफ मेंटर रिज्यूमे सेम आई एम एडिंग हिज रिज्यूमे ऑल्सो इम्पॉर्टेंट रिसर्च आर्टिकल्स एंड देन हियर आई एम एडिंग माई कास्ट सर्टिफिकेट विच कैटेगरी आई एम बिलोंगिंग एंड देन आई एम पुटिंग हियर माई बेस्ट रिसर्च आर्टिकल ड्यूरिंग पी एच डी सो आई एडेड हियर फाइव टू सिक्स रिसर्च आर्टिकल फाइव टू सिक्स रिसर्च आर्टिकल एंड देन इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स कम इंडोसमेंट सर्टिफिकेट ऑफ मेंटर फॉर्म दिस सर्टिफिकेट दिस सर्टिफिकेट दिस एप्लीकेंट मीन्स योर नेम हेयर इज माई नेम हेयर मेंटोर सिग्नेचर and then after the particular university register signature and stamp you can do it this two signature as well as stamp and then attach this document next document comes here like undertaking by fellow so here undertaking by fellow so you are undertaking by fellow means your name your father name your address and your signature and then that time i am not receiving as a degree certificate but i am adding here as a notification of i awarded of phd degree so i am adding the notification of phd degree so like qualification certificate so that point of view i am adding this certificate here i am adding my passport certificate because of age proof certificate is requirement so that's why i am adding their passport and then a plagiarism undertaking plagiarism undertaking because of principal investigator means you write this one particular my name is this my proposal title is this uh, plagiarism tool you are using some particular plagiarism tool and you are putting all contents are genuine so that's why you write up this one and then submit also this particular form and one more thing i suppose i am missing something so you can comment me on comment section i already received this particular post doc fellowship so i have very much information so accordingly i will help you to submit your good proposal and focus on only key point of your research also definitely you also receive this national postdoc fellowship in india if you have any question regarding this one you can comment me i will definitely help hope you like this video before leaving please subscribe our youtube channel and follow me on instagram same research rocks till then jai hind vande mataram